now got a little 80s quiz for you, uh, Nathan. Good luck. Um, it's kind of like going out, staying in kind of thing, but it's 80s themed. Uh, we thought we'd keep ourselves occupied during the lockdown period, so uh, you guys can do it at home as well. Um, so bright neons or denim? Bright neon or denim? Uh, Tough. Neon. Go, go with neon. Leg warmers, all that. Yeah. Yeah, bring back the leg warmers. Uh, Michael Jackson or Prince? I'm going to go for Michael Jackson. Um, I actually, I, I, I actually was in France. Yeah. And I, I walked up to um, uh, the Monte Carlo Music Awards. And uh, uh, I just walked up to this line of policemen, but because of Worlds Apart, they all recognised me. And they were like, oh, Matt Dong, the Worlds Apart. And I was on holiday. <laughs> I said, c'est possible pour entrer de, de la salle, you know, and uh, in my pigeon friend. And they went, yeah, pas de problème, bien, bien, <laughs> and they And they took me backstage. I mean, backstage. And as I walked in, there was Diana Ross, John Bon Jovi. Wow stood at the side of the stage and watched Michael Jackson do Earth Song. Oh, that was phenomenal. And I, I hung out with all these people. And I was really just walking up, you know, uh, walking up the promenade in Monte Carlo and just wow. happened to, Yeah, and the bizarre other thing is my bandmate from Worlds Apart yeah. is the co-manager of, of the Jacksons. So oh, he's okay. Away with Tito and Marlin and all of this. Um, doing gigs with them, uh, you know, so uh, they, the Jeanette, it's Jackson's Michael above Prince, I'm afraid. Okay, we'll take that. Um, Wham or Duran Duran? Oh, <laughs> it's going to be Wham, okay, because George gave us so much and he was just oh, the master, the voice, amazing. Yeah. Uh, and I sing the odd, you know, Wham tune here and there. I, I, oh, cool. The odd Duran Duran as well, because they had some great tunes. There we go. Uh, Dallas or Dynasty? Dallas or Dynasty? <laughs> That's going back, isn't it? I used to watch Dallas in my lunchtime when I was... Uh, <laughs> I had a job. I was a, a foot messenger. Oh, what? Sorry? A foot messenger. Oh, OK. For a film company in Soho when I was 17. Right. And, and we used to watch Dallas at lunchtime, you know. Right? <laughs> Just brings back memories of good old days. Uh, Night Rider or A Team? A Team. Yeah, hey. I would watch the A Team. Night Rider actually wasn't my thing back then. I, you know, I mean, yeah, A Team, A Team, A Team all the way. Uh, going live or number seventy three? Uh, I'm going to say number seventy three. <laughs> really? I must have done that show about ten times. They, were, they always had us on, and they had us on. They were really championing us before we had the hit with The Harder I Try. So they oh. had us on, like, our very first single. And we had four singles um, the four singles out before we had the hit with The Harder I Try. So they were always putting us on. It was, you know, you had to go, by, go down to this place in, uh, I don't know, in the southwest of England. And uh, it wasn't filmed in London. That's interesting, isn't it? Because people think you just make it overnight, but actually it does take a long time, doesn't it? Oh, it took, it took Brother Beyond, uh, we were signed two years and oh. we released four records uh, that people don't know about before we had the hit. Yeah, that's so interesting. Um, okay, next question. This is really important. Chipsticks or frazzles? <laughs> uh, I, I, used to eat, I used to eat the frazzles. Frazzles were the thing. To yeah. Good. Yes. I'm hungry now. Uh, Thundercats or He-Man? Come again? What was that? <laughs> Thundercats or He-Man? Ah, I think I used to watch fun Thundercats on a sa Saturday morning. It's bringing back all the memories now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Um, and last question, blind date or Noel's house party? Yeah, Noel's house party. Oh, really? I mean, yeah, I would, would glance at blind date, but uh, <laughs> yeah. That was good old Saturday Night TV, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what have we got now? Um, you, Hayley. My show. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm doing a, a Saturday Oh, yes. Night. Well, let's know what you're doing on Saturday yeah. night. People have kept asking me to do uh, a performance, you know, to right. book live show or something. So I did one from my kitchen. But, you know, I got my PA system out and did it. 
And now they've got more, so I'm doing one this Saturday night. And um, yeah, they, you know, I just... Is that going to be every Saturday night? I don't know. I don't... We don't know. So we'll check you out on Twitter. Yeah. We'll put your link up on the screen now, how we can follow you at Twitter. Absolutely. Well, Nathan, thank you so much for your time. Uh, like I said, we all love Brother Beyond on this show. Uh, so it's a real privilege to chat with you. And thank you for all your info. We're definitely going to check out your kitchen Saturday nights. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me on. I know you're down south, near Southampton or, yes. or actually Southampton. So when I do Let's Rock Southampton, you're coming as a guest of mine in the VIP to see my... I'm holding you to that. And they're rocking, so come and join us. Right. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Nathan Moore. Pleasure, Hayley. Thanks a lot. Cheers.
Oh, we've now come to the end of the Memory Lane 80 show on Spotlight TV. I'm Hayley Palmer. Thank you so much for tuning in and your continued support. It's so appreciated. And big thank you to my special guest, Nathan Moore. He has been absolutely brilliant and so good to catch up with him. And I'm so glad that I could share that with you. Um, love playing his songs as well. They're just so good. They don't play songs like that anymore, do they? Really brilliant. So I'm feeling really good now. Thank you so much. I'm Hayley Palmer and I will definitely see you next week.